Page 29, Sharp Key Inversion Etude. This is uh, pretty much identical to the previous page. The difference is we're dealing with the sharps rather than the flats. So I don't want to explain etudes and inversions and all that again. You go listen to the previous video on that. But here it's a sharp. We're starting in C major. Just take the right hand. You're in C major down here. And then in the last measure, the first line, we go into a G chord. G major is one sharp. We're not using the sharp in this etude, but it has one sharp. And then second line, second measure, we go into two sharps is D major. And then the third line, we go into three sharps. That's four or three sharps. Too many numbers. It's A major. And then at the end of the third line, we go into four sharps, and that's E major. And then we end it on A major. We don't go back to C major like we did on the first one. That's an A major chord. It's first inversion. It's really here, but we're here. It doesn't matter. It's still an A. Left hand, same thing, but broken chords. So you're moving around a little bit, but like you did on the last, just scrunch up. So you can do that. That's fine. Put the hands together slowly. Just. careful here because the last line or so they have that 8 VA above the top staff. So take a look at the third line down and the second measure you're up here, this is the right hand. And then going on the next measure, the notes are written down here, but with the 8 VA above it and the dotted line, it means play it up here. So you're from here, you're here. So you're still right there and that dotted line goes all the way to the end. So you're up here. If you have a short keyboard and you have those notes, don't worry about it. Just play them where they're written. That's fine. But if you do that, you got to move the left hand down because the left hand has treble clef and it's up in here. So if you, if you got to move the right hand down, move the left hand down too so they're out of the way. And I really don't have a lot to say unless I repeat the stuff I said on the first or the previous video. And I don't want to do that. Now, as far as dynamics and speed and all that goes, just play it. Don't worry about it. You can try it at different dynamic levels and different speeds. The idea of speed is not important here. They don't even give one. It's just, it's up to you. Be accurate and be even with these eighth notes. It, you don't need to go fast. but you don't need to. You can go slow, take it your speed, be accurate. Then of course they added the pedal. It's overlapping pedal throughout. They're changing it every three beats, every three eighth notes. That's fine, you can do that. Just make sure it's overlapping. You're pushing the notes down first and then the pedal does its thing so it overlaps just a little bit. I like to play this with you very slowly. Again to double check the notes and so forth. So I'll give us six counts and I will do the pedal. So we'll, we'll see. One, two, three, four, ready, go.